Hey, this is Miles. This video is going over a quick summary of the 42 acre. Um, two adjacent properties we're listing here in Ottertail County, Minnesota. I won't take long here. I'm going to talk about access, um, talk about these lakes and go over a few photos and just kind of give you a summary of these two, two uh, listings that we're combining together for a total of 42 acres. So this is right outside of Perm um, in Ottertail County, Minnesota. It's adjacent to Little Pine Lake and this this 42 acres is all along the river and it's along the Ottertail River. What we have here is two legal lots. These two legal lots can be sold separately or together. Um, we're listing and advertising it as one um, total for 42 acres, right? Together they make 42 acres. One is 18 and one is 24 acres, so, um, or something like that. And this is annual taxes for both combined properties, access notes, we share some of this stuff in the listing. Um, so number one, I wanna pull this property up on Google Earth and show you what we're looking at here. The two properties that we own are these two lots. You can see right here, um, the two lots outlined. I have one pinned and here's the other one. This tree line here, this band of trees, you can see this right here. This is this is all high ground. So this is all um, a forested, you know, high ground area. What I think about is off-grid cabins, um, you know, campsites, things like that. You know, a place for you, your friends and family to go mess around, you know, archery stands. Um, you know, gun ranges and stuff like that, hunting back here. So this is this is a cool spot. The reason I'm drawing that out to give you an idea of the measurements and to show you how much acreage this is, this is about 25 acres. So this high ground, this this tree band, uh, band here is what you can consider about 25 acres of land that you could you know build little tiny homes on. You'd probably use some of the lumber back in this forest. You'd have to take the river um, and access it maybe right here. So access right here or come around the bend and access it anywhere along this shoreline. Um, but you're basically, you know, building materials is going to be the challenge to get out there. So you're thinking like off grid, you know, wood burning stove, that type of like a hut out there or like setting up, clearing an area and you have a cool campground. You and your friends and family go have bonfires and camp back here. There's a ton of wildlife. So when I was back here, you know, bald eagles things like that. I do want to get rid of this. Bald eagles, um, deer, you know, beavers, you know, everything in, uh, that you can think of that Minnesota offers is back here. Some good fishing. And, you know, the south end of these properties is going to be more cattaily and marshland. And I'm going to pull up some photos here in a little bit, but this south end is going to be your classic, um, you know, kind of marshland, wetland, cattaily type of Minnesota look that you're, um, you know, envisioning. You know, your access point to this property, if you're going to build a dock, for you know, maybe a small John boat, some sort of small pontoon for your kayaks, whatever it may be. This is a good area along the shoreline here where the river's really wide. This is a large section of the river and you could put a dock in there or you can come all the way around the river here. And really anywhere along here would be a pretty good spot too to access your property. And like I said, this whole area is gonna be high ground, um, gonna be definitely usable for hunting, recreation um, and enjoyment. So. Um, this offers the ultimate privacy. This is all private ownership. This is private ownership right here too. So you're nestled back there by water. You're bound by water essentially. Um, going in here, like how would I access this property from land then since you can't drive on the property. We know it's a recreational lot. You know, right here, there's a culvert in the grounds and this is where I accessed. So you can get in right here and go this way or go this way, wherever you want to go to get to the property. And there's a walking trail down here. So we're not the only people, or I'm not the only person that's accessed this. You can see um, there were also river otters down here when I was leaving. So that's what's cool as well. I mean, there's a lot of wildlife and nature back here. It was a beautiful area. Um, so this is one access point. You can actually get on Google Street Views and take a look at it here. So let me show you this. You can see out there, you can see the big tree line out there, the big band of trees, the forested area. Then you can kind of see how it's cattaily in some other areas, right? So just giving you a look across the road here is Little Pine Lake and Big Pine Lake. Shoot. Little Pine and Big Pine Lake here. And you can see that culvert. You could lay down, you could go through a kayak on there. You could I could have laid down on my paddleboard. I was in a stand-up paddleboard. Um, just down the road here is a Zorba. So let me get back out and let me show you another access route. Another way to access this property. So if we're heading back south here is this bridge. So you can access it from the lake right here and get through here and get into Mud Lake. Like I said, you're not going to be in some quarter million dollar cobalt. You know, you're looking at 
like some sort of boat with, uh, you know, a trolling motor, a John boat, you know, a cheaper pontoon with a low prop or a high prop, I should say, you know, just something you're not trying to, you're not spending a bunch of money on your boat that brings you back through mud lake. Like this is travelable, you know, like I also think about those boats that have the little propeller on back. There's no prop in the water. Like what you see down in the marshes and the Everglades of Florida, like that would be a really cool option because, you know, there's public access points um, to, to dock, you know, your boat in here um, on Big Pine Lake or excuse me, Little Pine Lake. So, and then Big Pines went over. So on Little Pine Lake, there's going to be public access points for you to put your boat in and get it back through Mud Lake onto this property. You can see Mud Lake is is definitely, you know, kind of marshy and, and cat taily, but you know, from my paddle boarding, I'll show you some photos. There's a lot of open space too. Like I would, if I own the property, I would do a John boat or some sort of trolling motor where I'd figure something out. Cause I do think it is pretty accessible via the water. So again, this is another bridge you can get to the lake on, um, from there. And that's really not that long of a kayak. I did, I was on a stand up paddle board and from right here to over here. And then I also went, you know, down here for a minute and just looked at this kind of opening, how it opened up, you know, that was a total of 30 minutes or 45 minutes. And that was a stand up paddleboard. So to give you a perspective there, um, let me show you a couple of photos now of what I'm talking about, kind of showing you the landscape. So um, I've got them pulled up here. This is the south end of the property. So you can see that tree line gets pretty close. As I was talking right about here, you know, that's gonna be along this section, you know, where there is more of that that high ground in that dense forest. So you can see that's a lot closer here. Also neighbors, you know, other landowners have put docks in on their properties. So you can see that like there's other people that have used this area for access. This, this is where it opens up a little bit more. This is that large part of that river. And just showing you more kind of cattaily that south end of the property, a lot more cattaily, a lot more marshlands. Um, again, to the right of me here, I believe it's gonna be the south end of the property. This is probably looking out at Mud Lake. Again, this is my recollection from about six months ago when I went out to one of those properties. So um, another one kind of looking on that south end, I believe, probably more so somewhere along here, I'm guessing, um, is where these photos are going to be taken more. So just giving you an idea of what we're looking at. There is a path that you can tell kayakers and people have taken through um, some of those, some of that marshland. So. That's kind of this property in a nutshell. Um, we've got a lot of great photos on it. You can see um, this is the farm across the road. This is what the river looks like. So if I were to go right here, this is that farmhouse. So right in front of the property, the river, this is, you know, it's opened up. It's fairly wide right there, right? Um, again, that section in front of that farmhouse. So the river looks good. I mean, it's a wide section of the river. It's deep enough. Um, this is that culvert where we got in. So this is looking out at Little Pine right there. And again, this is a landing point um, where this is, where this person docked is going to be like right in here somewhere. Again, there's that farmhouse for a reference point. So that's all. I'm not going to keep your time for this video. You can see the forested area. Like I said, a really cool recreational lot. There are like, there were some hunting blinds back here, um, some archery stands, things like that. But there's 25 acres of the property that looks like this you know, that just needs some clearing and would be some really cool campsites. Here's a bald eagle. Like I said, there's a ton of wildlife back here. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, just give us a call. We have other listings for sale in Minnesota on the homepage. My name's Miles. Give us a call at 605-299-5553.